My name is Nicole Farley and I am the Communication Assistant at MEMIC. As a Communication Assistant with MEMIC, I am part of the communication team. I work a lot to support my team members, but I also get to work on a bunch of projects myself, which is kind of fun. And I get to do a lot of creative things as well as some technical media things. So in order to get communications out to our employees, we have to think of the best channels to do that. So that means, do we show images on the TVs that we have throughout our company? Do we put messages on our internal website called our intranet? Or do we hand out flyers, which can't quite do this year, but has been a good strategy in the past. So what we're looking for is what's the best way to reach out to other employees and to connect with them to get the messages that they need to know. Every day looks different. So some days I'll be working mostly on paying bills. Other times I'll be working on cool projects in um, promoting events. Other times it'll be working on the planning for a longer launch for say that we're um, launching a new program um, company-wide we'll be working on what do people need to know for that and so really there's no day that looks exactly the same which is really cool but a lot of elements will be the same throughout the day oftentimes there'll be some element of design work oftentimes there'll be some element of coming up with the right words to tell people when i was a kid what i really wanted to do was to be an actress um, but over the years that shifted into kind of thinking about possibly working behind the scenes of television or movies. So I went to school for communications because I wasn't too big into the technical. And I found that I really loved somewhat working with cameras and audio, which I do every day. Um, and also I liked the idea of storytelling, which is kind of connected. So I'm able to tell stories and give out messages still in my day-to-day -day, as I would as an actress. And I also get to work with cameras and audio and all kinds of fun things like that. So even though it seems like a big jump, there are a lot of elements that connect the two. And I'm on screen right now. Mm -hmm. Recently, one project that I got to work on was our company decided to do a Toys for Tots campaign, which we've done for lots of years. But part of my job was getting to work with the volunteers who decided to host the event and come up with a fun way to promote our event. So I got to work with other team members to come up with graphics. We got to figure out what the best way would be to promote it and to get it out to everyone in the company to help encourage people to donate what they could. In a way to get our name out, Mimic often partners with different companies to promote ourselves. And so one of these partnerships is with the Maine Red Claws, a minor league basketball team. And as part of it, we get our name um, within the stadium and we get special called out, which is kind of cool. And we get some seats, which is a very great perk. As part of that partnership, we need to nail, nail down the details, make sure that both sides are on the same page. So I got a chance to go and meet with the CEO of the main Red Claws as a communication assistant who had only been with the company full time for two months. So that was a great opportunity for me to meet with people outside of the company to network and just to be in that position where my opinion was valued. One thing that's been a great benefit at Mimic that has helped me grow as a professional and thrive has been the support that you get here. Um, a lot of my, like all of your coworkers wanna see you succeed. Not only because it helps them, because a team is um, only as strong as all of its teammates, but also everyone wants to see you at your best for you. And so having that support, helping people encourage you, having people help you, and being so receptive to you asking for help has been such a positive experience and has really helped me to grow. So my advice would be to don't be afraid to reach out to people or to connect with people who may have similar interests as you, or perhaps even may have a position in a field where you'd like to maybe one day see yourself end up. I had an experience where um, I, due to my interest in a television show, um, a woman who happened to be the publicist of CBS at the time 
had followed me on Twitter, and when I had a project to interview someone in the public relations field, I held my breath and I reached out to her, and I ended up having an experience where she reached back out to me, was incredibly receptive. I got to interview her for 45 minutes, and I learned a lot in the process. And since then, I've also reached out to her um, for further career advice. So even though I it admittedly was scared at the time to reach out, it definitely paid off because I got an A on that project <laughs> and have a great professional connection.